fingerprint lock. First, the outside unit includes decoration cover, sliding cover, deadbolt, emergency lock head, LED display, power on button, outdoor locking button, latch override key cover, outside handle. Inside unit includes numeral tube, control panel, emergency turning knob, battery cover, pinch screw holes, inside handle, battery clip. The control panel includes store button, delete button, circle button, inside unlock button, inside lock button. To press fingerprint correctly, press the finger on the center of the scanning window. To replace the battery in a correct way, rotate the turning knob to the right position. Install six number five AA batteries. Observe polarities positive and negative. Now I will tell you how to program Shepard 210 fingerprint lock. There are five security levels provided in the system. S0 is the lowest level, S4 is the highest one. The default security level is S3. To set up the level, you can do that when there is no fingerprint in the system or an administrator can press and hold store, delete, and circle button. LED displays the current security level. Release the three buttons. Press circle button to select the security level desired and then press store button. You will hear two prompt beeps indicating the security level is successful. Don't program the locks on different levels. Setting up the low security level is not recommended unless security is not of importance. The default setup by the manufacturer is S3. Manufacturer and seller are not responsible for any losses caused by setting an improper security level. Now I will show you how to store fingerprints. Shepard 210 includes five administrators and 45 users in two levels. For each user, the system can store two fingerprints. Both administrator and users can look up the ID number and open the door, but only the administrators can store and delete the fingerprints. Before shipping, there isn't any fingerprint in the system. First, push the sliding cover up, press power on button, then the lock set is unlocked. Now I will show you how to store the administrator's fingerprints. Press power on button, the blue indicator blinks, the lock is unlocked. Press and hold the store button. The number 01 displays along with a beep. Put a finger on the scanning window. A beep will prompt again. It is a successful scanning. Repress the finger a little to scan the fingerprint. Two prompt beep indicates saving is completed. The numeral tube shows 02. The first two saved fingerprints will automatically be stored. After that, you should check out the two fingerprints, then save others. We would suggest that every time a user saves the administrator's fingerprint, he must record his different fingers, that is, thumb and forefinger, at the position of two administrators separately in order to keep administrator's fingerprint more functional. During the save process, if three prompt sounds are heard, that indicates the scanning was not successful. Try again. Now I will explain how to save the user's fingerprints. Press power on button. Once the administrator's fingerprint has been verified, the lock set will unlock. Press and hold the store button. The system will enter the save mode and a beep will prompt. Release the store button. Press the circle button to select an ID number. Next, press the store button again and hold. When hearing a beep, scan user's fingerprint. If it is successful scan, a sound will prompt you to lift your finger and either rescan the same or a different finger. You will hear two prompt sounds indicating a successful scanning. FU means that fingerprints are full. Now I will explain how to delete the saved fingerprints. Press power on button. After administrator's fingerprint is verified successfully, the lock set is unlocked. Press and hold the sleep button. Press circle button. The LED displays the current opener's ID number. Press delete button for three seconds. The fingerprint will be deleted. By deleting administrator's fingerprints, all of the user's fingerprints will be automatically deleted also. Press and hold the store and delete buttons at the same time. If beep sounds, all the saved fingerprints are deleted. The LED will display UU, which means there are no saved fingerprints in the system. If only two administrator's fingerprints were saved, press delete button. 
Press power on button, the LED displays. When two beeps are heard, a forced deletion to the administrator's fingerprints function is successful and the display will show UU. To look up current user's ID number in fingerprint space, open the door with fingerprint and press circle button. LED will display ID number first, then press again. It will display the other fingerprint space.